Hi guys and welcome back to my house. My name is Sage for those of you who don't know me and in today's video I wanted to talk about how to store your nail polish cheaply and the most effectively to make it last longer. Now I wish I was as talented as my friend Maggie here in these pictures. I'm just not that talented but I can say that she's helped me not only learn some techniques but to amass a pretty good sized collection of nail polish myself and storing it became kind of a problem. Finding a storage solution became an even bigger problem and I would find my nail polish everywhere in my house. It would drive me nuts. So I started using shoe boxes from the dollar store. Yep, the dollar store guys, cause it's cheap. And because it's just a shoe box, it's easy to grow my collection of boxes as my collection of nail polish grows. I also like it because it keeps the nail polishes upright, which keeps them lasting longer. They're not going to dry out as fast and it's not going to damage the brush. And because they're light and easy to transport, it makes it easy for me to take them to whatever room or space that I'm going to be working on my nails in. I store them in my linen closet in my bathroom. I do this because you want to store your nail polish in the dark. You don't want them in direct sunlight or in extreme temperatures. Either will greatly reduce the life of your nail polish. Another thing that I like about these boxes is that it makes it easy to separate them. I have mine separated and organized into different types of nail polish. Like I put my regulars in one, my pearly finishes in another, my glitters in another. You get the point. Another thing that I do is I put all of my tools that I use to work on my nails in one bin. So I, this goes with me wherever I'm deciding to do my nails along with whatever colors I'm going to be using. And everything I need is right in this box so it makes it easy. I have things like a paper towel that I cut up into little squares just to you know wipe off a brush or whatever and I don't have to waste a whole towel. I don't have to get up. I don't have to stop what I'm doing. It's just right there and easy to store and take along with me. Another thing that I have in here are post-it notes. Now, I know it sounds kind of crazy. Why would you want post-its when you're trying to do your fingernail polish? Well, Maggie taught me that if I want to mix colors, if I want to mix paints, I can do it on a post-it and it saves room. I guess a lot of people do it on um, uh, paper plates, but um, the post-its are easier. And I also keep some toothpicks. I just store them in a Tic Tac case that I just washed out and I use these to mix the paints on the post-it notes. I've also repurposed a gum or candy container, I can't remember which, for these Q-tip like things. They're not regular Q-tips, they're the ones that you use for makeup. They have little, little pointed edges. And these I like because you can dip them in the acetone and use them to kind of clean up around the edges and it gets in a little more detailed of a spot than like say a um, cotton ball would. So those come in handy also. I keep things like these little tape that you use to decorate your nails or the different types of tools whether it's a file or this brush that Maggie gave me and this is a makeup brush and I think it's one of probably one of the best tips that she's given me if you want to clean up in a detail and fine detail around your fingernails when you're done just dip it in acetone and just use the makeup brush to um, get into those little small spots I also have uh, this little container that you get from like the travel section. I got this from Walmart. I use it to hold my cotton balls in one section in one half of it. And then the other half, I typically have those uh, makeup wedges. I'm out of those. We use those to do gradients like in this picture here. Um, but I, like I said, I'm out of those. But anyways, I would keep them in there. I also keep things, things like this file that I use on my hands when they get tore up. And another tip that I probably should have listened to Maggie like the first time she told me was to buy acetone. It's so worth the extra couple of dollars um, that you would spend over buying the regular nail polish remover. It's I get this at Sally's Beauty Supply, but I'm sure you could get it at any beauty supply. And it really just makes it so much easier to take that nail polish off. Uh, it's definitely worth the money. I keep tools in here and I also keep a paper towel. You can see it's well used, but um, I keep this in here because instead of risking getting nail polish on any surface that I'm working on wherever I take my stuff to, I just put my hands on here and if I'm going to spill or make a mess or whatever, it's just going to end up on the paper and not on whatever surface I'm on. So I just tuck that right on in here and it just stays with me and it makes cleanup so much easier as well. 
I also keep things like more, um, more tools, like, you know, to do a little fine detail work and another kind of wedge and some foot cream, you know, all that kind of stuff. Basically, you get the point. Everything I would need to work on my hands is in this box and it's easy to, to, to take with me to wherever I decide to sit down and work on my nails at. Well, that's pretty much it for how I store my nail polish, and I'm telling you, the shoe boxes have definitely made it so much better to store my nail polish, get to it, and put it away easily, so definitely a bonus. But if you're like my friend Maggie, and you have a gajillion bottles of nail polish, you might consider getting the Helmer by Ikea. Um, they store, I think she said like 500 bottles or more in each one. She has three there, so can you guys imagine how much nail polish she has? You, you can't even believe how much nail polish she has. Has, but she's so good at, at painting her nails. I love it. She uses um, this like non-stick grip liner in the bottom of them that prevents the nail polishes from sliding around and, um, you know, they don't fall over. She also puts a dab of each color on the top of each nail polish so that it's easy for her to see what, um, what the color is and the finishes. And she bumped up the cuteness factor of these things by adding these wall decals right onto them and I think it looks so cute and whimsical. So if you're a real nail artiste like Miss Maggie, she definitely recommends the Helmer. Well, that's it for now guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like it, please consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to share with all your friends and family. Thanks for stopping by my house. I'll see you next time.